everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern. We are here in Old Havana, Cuba. I am here with the god of hair. I've been told you're the god of hair, Pepito. Pepito owns this salon on the fifth floor of a fabulous street. I want you to get the entrance. We, uh, we climbed up five stories to get here. It's a beautiful door, and it's a beautiful, lovely, small salon. I'm actually going to hand this over to Rod. Uh, Rod Navoa, who is traveling with us, our famed and fabulous fashion stylist, and he is going to come over and, and interpret for me. So first of all, meet Pepito. Uh, hey. hey, guys. <laughs> so this is the entrance. Um, I just, your es clients wait here. This is the reception area. Esa es la entrada, y sus clientes esperan ahí. Sí. He's going to explain. Uh -huh. This is the Arte Corte Salon. We mix the history of hair and art. And it's a beauty salon. It's also his home. It's a mixture of art, culture, and hair. Let's follow him. Everything started in 1999. He wanted to work on a project of a, a beauty salon. He wanted to start a beauty salon. And he never had the money to do it. He started with one chair one mirror, and he had a lot of hair back then, a lot of hair. <laughs> and little by little, he created this amazing space. He's a dreamer. His dream is when he's not around, that this would evolve to his, his kids. It belongs to the Cuban culture and uh, all the uh, hairstylers of the world. He has vintage uh, hair chairs. He has a lot of uh, artifacts from the 1920s and 1930s, uh, chairs from that time. He's proud of all his uh, tools, his barber tools, from the 1920s and 1930s. Lo más es que todo, eh, el salón, eh, como un salón de and the most important thing is here's where he cuts his hair. It's a museum and a place where he does his hair cutting. Y todo se utiliza. And, and everything, he uses everything. Bueno, las cosas antiguas, no. the old, not the old stuff. <laughs> How many clients does he see a day? ¿Cuántos clientes usted ve al día? Aquí, eh, el 90% de los clientes son cubanos y eh, atendemos 20 clientes diarios. 90% of his clients are Cubans and then you have the 10% that are uh, tourists by word of mouth. Um, what does he charge for a typical haircut on a man? Un corte para un hombre, digamos para mí, ¿cuánto usted cobra? Bueno, aquí cobra? quizás para los Estados Unidos muy económico, pero en Cuba es muy caro, eh, cobramos 5 dólares Este salón, entre cinco, diez dólares. It, it, it's between five and ten dollars. Wow. Yeah, which is a lot for a, for a Cuban, but maybe for a foreigner it would be five to ten dollars, which is fair. And what percentage male, female? How many men, how many women? ¿Qué por ciento son hombres y mujeres que vienen al salón? Su gran mayoría son mujeres. ¿Cómo a, por ciento? A pesar de que mi hijo sí. decidió ser peluquero y prefiere hacer eh, muchos cortes de hombres. The majority are women, but his son decided to bring in some men in here. So he's in charge of the men, and he does a lot of the women. Ya, los hombres empiezan también a hacer servicio más, a generar más servicio, ya, que antes eran solamente exclusivos para mujeres. It was always here in Havana exclusive only for women to come to the hair salon. But little by little, that thing is changing. So now we have men coming into the hair salon. Unisex. Unisex. How many other hairdressers, how many other hairdressers work in this salon? ¿Cuántos otros peluqueros trabajan en este salón? Cuatro. Cuatro Four. peluqueros más. Four hairdressers. And here it's, it's Saturday, and there's not a lot of people here. Is that traditional in Cuba, that people don't get their hair done on a Saturday? 
¿Y los sábados tiene gente que viene a hacerse el pelo? Sí, toda sí. la semana. Sí. Pero no, en este momento el salón no está funcionando porque estamos remodelando el salón. The, the, the salón no está open hoy porque están remodeling. Están remodeling. Sigue hacia yeah. atrás. Yeah. Sigue hacia atrás. It's being expanded in the back. Ah. Estamos remodelando. So, so that's why they close it for a few days. Oh, uh, yeah. okay, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, uh, one more question. How, Una pregunta how, más. How did you become the hair god of Cuba? ¿Cómo usted se hizo el, el dios del pelo de Cuba? No, el, no. El, el, Mira, el, el secreto está en sí. la pasión y en la constancia. The secret is in the passion, in the love of what you do. El secreto. And that's the, that's the secret. Yeah, that's quiero it. compartir una cosa. He would like to say something. Oh, yes, okay. Y quiero pedirle eh, su ayuda con la revista. He wants to ask your help with your magazine. Y aprovechar esto, que quizás muchos peluqueros nos estén viendo. And take advantage, because he knows a lot of... Hairdressers are watching him and watching you. Estamos haciendo un monumento al peluquero. This is a, this is a monument for Havana for hairdressing. Entonces este monumento es participativo. Eh, la idea es que eh, los peluqueros que quieran donar una tijera vieja que no vayan a usar, nos las entregan. Nosotros le entregamos un certificado con el nombre, el país y un número para que quede constancia que donó la tijera. He would love if hairdressers from America might donate some scissors for here. Scissors. Yeah. And, and he's actually not even asking for new yeah. scissors. He's asking for old scissors, stuff that they don't want, scissors that they don't want. And he will give you a certificate of the donation into his museum here in Cuba. No. Okay, where do ahora, they send it? Lo más lo más the most important thing. El monumento va a ser una tijera grande hecha con tijera. O sea, que muchas tijeras van a ser una. La razón que él quiere, the reason, is, the reason he wants the scissors is because they're creating actually a scissor monument here. And all the scissors from all over, whoever sends the scissors, are going to be part of that monument. Oh, and those people are going to receive a certificate from here stating that their scissor is in the monument of Havana. That's so Havana. Okay, so get mucha, the details where we Una tijera grande hecha mm -hmm. con tijera. All right, so get y the en the la details. base del monumento va a estar eh, el nombre y el país. And at the bottom of the monument, it's going to be the name and the country of the person that is donating the scissors, the company that's donating the scissors. Okay. How amazing is that? Love it. Fantastic. Le We're going es to have it written, but, but give him the, for you to, to get the exact address where to okay. send it. Lo que necesitamos es cómo se puede mandar esas tijeras. Tenemos para una persona en los Estados Unidos. Yo le voy a dar su eh, mail. Sí y que es, se, se ha encargado de crear esta campaña en los Estados Unidos para los peluqueros que quieran participar. There's already a person in the United States mm. that is in charge of putting the scissors together. Okay. And that's how they're going to send it over so here. I will, get that I will get that information. It will be under this video or above this video to get the address where to send the scissors. Ella va a coger la información que cómo dar las tijeras allá yeah, yeah. para que lo manden acá. Pero tengo otro problema. He has another problem. Que a lo mejor me pueden ayudar también. That we can probably help. Mi sure. sueño, sure. Mi, mi sueño, que en el monumento haya tijeras de peluqueros del mundo entero. De todos los continentes, de África, de Asia, América. Okay. His dream is evo to evolve a little bit also outside of the United States and have scissors from all over the world. So that's, that's what... His dream is. All right, we're going to make it global. We will make it global. Lo vamos a hacer global. Lo vamos a hacer el, el eso. Yeah. Sí. El monumento va a estar en la calle. Se va a poner en la calle de los peluqueros. Ya esto se habla que es la calle de los peluqueros. Sí. Tenemos un proyecto social nosotros también. It's a social project because this is the street of hairdressers. So this would be a great thing if we can get scissors from all over the world. We are on it. And we're going to wrap this up, and then I'm going to have a little chat with you so I can do a bigger story. But thank you so much, Papito. Thank you for opening your doors on your day off. Love your space and love it here. And thank you for making us feel so welcome in Cuba. And thank you, Rod. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. Okay, we'll see you. Muchas gracias. Bueno. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, thank you.